deep freeze. Winter had come, and for many days now had held everything in its icy grip. The countryside was frozen hard. Trees were white with frost, and icicles hung from bridges and water columns. Luckily, however, there was little snow. So cold for that, thank goodness, shivered James's driver as he and the fireman huddled on in the shelter beside the cab. James had an open foot late, and every day his crew came to work muffling to the eyebrows in scarves and jerseys. Sometimes water columns froze too, and then the engines could not get the water they needed. But this never happened at the workstation, and one morning, when the frost seemed harder than ever, James's driver stopped him to where the water column was. We'll give you a good topping up while we can, he said. There's no telling when we might get some more. James shivered as the icy water cascaded into the tender, but he knew his driver was right. They filled James's tanks to the brim. Because the fireman forgot to tell the driver to turn the tap off, water overflowed onto James's tender, making him start to shiver again. Right, said the fireman, jumping down from the footplate. Let's be off. I want to warm myself up, shuffling coal. We can't go yet, laughed the driver. They haven't finished loading the luggage van. <sighs> oh, I wish they wish they hurry, grumbled the fireman, blowing on his hands. I'm frozen from standing on that tender. All engines have a tap called an injector. It allows the driver or the fireman to transfer water from the tender to the boiler. And it is very important. Without it, the water level in the boiler could become so low to make, to make steam properly. They had not gone far before James felt thirsty. I need a drink please, he said to the driver. The driver turned on the injector, but nothing happened. The, the fireman tried as well, still nothing. I've got such a pain, groaned James. Your injector's failed, said his driver. Locking in the pipe most likely. We'll have to stop and deal with the fire. Can't go on without water. Don't set the sleepers on fire, pleaded James. Henry won't let me forget it. The fireman laughed. You'll be alright if we just dump you down, he said. There's no need to throw away the fire, as Henry did. They stopped near a signal box, and James's driver asked the signalman to telephone for help. The works sent a diesel, who James had never met, to help him. Rescued by a diesel? He snorted disgustedly. It's degrading. I won't go. But he soon changed his mind, because now his fire was down his boiler was cooling, and he could feel the icy wind. The diesel was friendly. James was quiet at first, but by the time they reached the works, the diesel had won him over, and the two of them ch were chatting like old friends. At the works, James's fireman climbed onto the tender. He tried to open the filler camp, but he couldn't do it. There's your answer, James, he said. Your filler cap's frozen solid. That's because the water overflowed. Ice has stopped air from getting into the tank, so the injector can't work. You'll be right when the snow melts. He was, and that wasn't all. Thanks to his new friend from the works, even James now admits that diesels can be useful engines too.